This episode is sponsored by Wundrium.
All right, we have made it to camp. What a track. What a track. What a track. Luckily, and actually we do that now most of the time, we actually walked the entire track to make sure not only it was feasible for the mug, there was not like any dangerous spot or any like silly spot to go to, and it was actually going somewhere for us. There's no point taking a track that actually leads to nothing. So at least we've got a stunning camping spot right now. But it was a much narrower track than we thought. I especially struggle with the spotting a lot on this one. I struggled to see the back tires, so I was not very helpful to Chris. So hopefully I got some good footage at least on the camera. And yeah, I was really surprised how well the mug did. Chris did very good on the on the driving by himself. And one thing that really surprised me on the track is the Jimmy antenna at the front. It took <laughs> a hiding, like really crazy. It was always bouncing and absolutely fine. So I was really impressed with that. Yeah, I mean, that's by far the narrowest track we've done. It keeps smashing in both front mirrors into the side of the truck, which was the, de the design to swing around like that. But we haven't actually been to that stage yet until today. Yeah, that was a good so, test. Oh yeah, and I think I think Ange and I are telling ourselves that the truck's a little bit more svelte than it actually is, especially me. So <laughs> the tricky thing is Love it's it. when it's tight and it's winding, mm. and it's because I need to throw the front end basically almost off the track in order the to get the end. back end around and that's proving hard to kind of anticipate when you when you're just walking it but the truck just ate it i mean it makes like really intense looking ruts <laughs> and rock steps it just it eats them up and makes them feel and look really easy on camera so which is great but, did well um, on sand today it did so the, it ate the sand today now we're running five psi less in all four tires than mm -hmm. we have ever before so in the back today we're running 35 psi on both rears and both fronts we're running 25 psi and that seemed to be a really perfect combination a little bit of speed yeah and um just to make a note when we did walk the track before beforehand we tried to remove any major mm -hmm. like potential staking opportunities for the tires mm. and good thing we did because the tires because we are a wider stance than all the other vehicles we are very much driving over stuff that doesn't ne mm -hmm. get normally driven over so we have to be really careful with that yeah and um yeah it worked Pretty really well, well. It's so windy today so <laughs> we're probably going to just chill out here that's why we've parked in this little kind of nook and uh, yeah, we just chill out the rest of the afternoon, maybe do some editing or something, have a look at the footage that we got. Tomorrow is meant to be really windy and cloudy as well, unfortunately. But the day after is meant to be a bit of a banger, so we will probably drive onto the beach Yay. in the Enemog, set up shop there. I'll jump in the water hopefully and have a little nose around. On our walk we did see a seal sort of uh, playing around and hunting mm. in the shallows. Which is a bad sign for me as a sparrow because that means there's going to be white sharks around. That's their prey source. So I'm just going to have to be extra careful yeah. and stay really shallow. Don't let anything get underneath me and um, hope for the best. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this thing. Most bizarre animal. It's huge as well. I thought it was a shark. But it's a giant fish of some kind.
Alright, so we just came back from our little beach walk, which ended up being not that little. We actually walked 11.5 kilometers this morning. I usually take Chris on a little walk with me, but then ended up being a big, big loop. So, like, we're a bit exhausted right now. So, coming back straight away, first thing first, coffee. So, Chris is getting a drip filter, a hot one, and I'm getting a cold brew because it is actually quite surprisingly warm and I just need to replenish because we're out of the cold brew it's so good to have those little sachets so that it's in the fridge we come back it's all ready and Chris is right now looking at the drone footage what a strange of the animal. sunfish looking forward to seeing that and this is a current view you can probably we are very sheltered where we are right now which is very good but yeah over there it's definitely getting very windy today so we're probably gonna chill a little bit in the shade for the afternoon and we'll go back out there a little bit later to see if we can spot more wildlife Good morning! So we are packing up, literally going 200 meters from here, changing location. This spot was really good for the wind orientation the past days, but now it's changing coming from the other side. So we decided we're gonna camp on the beach. So we're preparing Bowser, secured everything. It's beautiful blue sky, so we're gonna fly the drone and go for a little rock and beach drive. Hey. It's going to be a two men's job. <laughs> you might need to put it under the ladder. Oh, that's cool.
What a cool mat. Very cool. We got this sand mat, it's called Sea Gear, and we got it from A247. And it was originally designed as a mobile helipad for army helicopters. <laughs> and now it is for us. <laughs> Quite suitable for ex army truck. Because we keep bringing sand into the campus, oh so we God. have to keep dusting it off the staircase. Now we can at least get it, the sand out here and then we can go up the staircase. Oh my God, that's going to make such a huge difference. We've got some sand pegs, so we're just going to chuck them down. Nice. And we have made it to camp. How is that for a view? Oh my God. It could be probably on the top five camp ever. Stunning. Lounge mode to dinner mode activated. Oh. What a beautiful end of the afternoon and dinner spot. So, so nice. Fortunately, no fresh fish. That's okay. But that's okay. That is okay. I'm still so stoked about the giant sunfish that we saw. So that thing we caught on drone was really, really big. Hard to say how big it was. We ran up onto a rock and got some reception to try and Google it. And yeah, it turns out it's also called a Mola Mola. <laughs> and it is the heaviest bony fish in the world and can grow up to be two and a half ton in weight. And they live really deep sea, so they go down to up to 600 meters of depth, chasing little like fish and jellyfish and sponges. And then occasionally they come up to the surface and sunbathe basically and eat jellyfish sometimes so apparently it's very rare to see them from shore normally only whale watching boats and stuff like that see them so a really really special creature to see uh, and to capture on film so today was pretty chilled really we just hung out mostly outside and then the wind picked up at one point so we got a little training session in went in for a dive I got a bit spooked out in case there were some white sharks around. I just got a bit of a bad feeling, so I came back in. And uh, then the wind really picked up, changed direction. <laughs> all over the show today. So we went in, we've been editing all afternoon. And now, uh, and just cooked a really, really nice chicken dinner. Yeah, no, it's so nice to be able to shelter for the wind. Like, it was still beautiful sunshine, but like, we could not be outside without being sandblasted, basically. So. Yeah. So that was good to be and now we can enjoy the evening and just hopefully a nice sunset I don't think it will be tonight because there's zero clouds literally in the sky compared to last night we put that clip a little bit before in the video it came out of like nowhere and the sunset on Esperance are like so pink I can't really explain what's going on but they are some of the best sunset we've seen actually from our trip so mm -hmm. Hopefully tomorrow night we've got another one coming up or even better for my birthday in a few days. Oh yeah. How about that? Sounds good. I'll try and turn it on. <laughs> All right. Bon appétit and we'll see you tomorrow. of the mug right now which is really cool <laughs> basically on the rock it's just unreal unreal not many people get to take their home on places like this that's for sure <laughs> all right so we'll do the track and we'll see you wherever we end up
Okay, so it's been a few days since we last saw you on that beautiful beach. The weather sort of packed up and we left basically. Now we've gone to a free campsite which has been really good and it has really good phone reception and internet. So we've been catching up on stuff, checking out the news, I've done a bunch of maintenance on the MOG and generally just chilled out a little bit as well over these last couple of days and preparing for our next big adventure coming up. Now something that I was a little bit disappointed about myself when we were in the Jeep. We were traveling Australia, did the full year if you remember if you were watching YouTube back then. But I felt like some of my time I wasted. I would sort of just vegetate a little bit and just look out over these beautiful vistas. But what I regret looking back on that year is that I didn't learn more. I had all the time in the world where I could have been teaching myself new stuff that I, stuff that I wouldn't have ever learned at school you know so um recently have been really stoked i've been getting right into a website called wondrium now wondrium is this awesome platform where basically you can look up anything and everything right so it's got history which i'm a really big fan of science all types of things about astronomy you can learn to cook dance learn spanish on there it's a really good website it's just filled with stuff now i've recently been watching a very cool I guess you could almost say a documentary and a, a bit of a lesson on Stoicism. I've read quite a few books on the Stoics in the past. As a bit of a background on me, I've actually got a classical history degree, so that's something I've always really been interested in. Now, that's been really, really nice because I'm not a huge fan of philosophy, but I do like certain key elements of Stoicism, and I think that in this day and age, a man who is more stoic is only a good thing, in my opinion. So I'm really enjoying getting into that. A cool new word for you today that you probably haven't heard is one called ataraxia. Now it is a Greek word and it is basically the stoic version of Hakuna Matata, right? So no worries. And in a non-philosophical term, soldiers would sometimes refer to themselves as entering ataraxia which means they are in a complete state of bliss nothing can harm their mental state and that is when they are the most effective in battle so that's a cool word for you that i've learned on wondrium now wondrium is quite cool and it works really well for Ange and i in that i can actually download some lessons or documentaries and then I can have them on our app on my phone and we can actually listen to them. I've downloaded them only almost as like an audiobook. I haven't even downloaded the video aspect of it. So it keeps my bandwidth still. So I'm not, you know, basically using up heaps of my data. And uh, that's been really good. So I can be on top of a rock or at the beach or just chilling in the camper and I can be listening to, uh, to the stuff. So, so that's been really good. If it's something you're interested in, I do suggest head on over to onegem.com forward slash the outfit. You will get a free trial and I'll leave that link in our description below. Stormy and windy day ahead. Time to get the chores done. A little bit of an oil top up. Fun times. And we're good to go. All right, so an awkward spot to get into, but I see just greasing all of the grease nipple points. So I've got this that I always carry around. Got some Nulon grease in there. Gonna pump that out until I see the old dirty grease pop out. There we go. So I'll do that everywhere that I can find <laughs> and be good to go. My favorite tool. Makita vacuum. Transmission oil level's good. Diff level's good. Then I'll check all four portals. And uh, all the nipples are greased. So then we're good. 
So I'm doing a proper full cleanup today, even the walls, the cupboard, and I would say even though we've got white walls and white, I guess, cupboards with the um, uh, birch plywood, both of those, even if they get stains and marks, they clean up super easily. So in that respect, very happy with our choice of materials for walls and cupboards. Mirror has been going strong so far. No movement at all. Very happy it resists all the corrugation. But it's dirty, dirty, dirty. Time to clean. And the last part of our chores before we leave civilization is to dump our rubbish. I actually never showed you the final result of our little rubbish um, setup, which is very elaborated, as you can see. It's just the 15 liters IKEA rubbish, which was the biggest one I could find for the space we had. It works really well. I just put a little bit of like high density foam here with a drawer slide at the top so that it goes nice and smooth. Probably the less aesthetic and like the weirdest mod that we've got into the truck but very happy with our rubbish setup surprisingly and we find that if we had a bigger rubbish bin it would actually start to maybe smell a little bit inside so i think this side is probably very good for what we need it usually lasts us for the week and then when it's full we can put it outside in our treasure room and after one month in esperance it's time finally to leave the dagway border has opened getting a little bit too busy in here so it's time for us to do some proper kilometers. First up though we're heading a little bit inland for our first kind of planned expedition. It's a short one but we're really looking forward to it so see if you can guess where we're headed in the uh, in the comments. Okay, we'll see you next week. Thanks for so much for watching. Adventure. Cheers guys.